So have you ever wished you could organize your books inside of Notion without lifting a single finger? Let me show you how to automate this process without any form of coding. So here's a secret. By reading one book a week, you gain the equivalent of 350 years of knowledge, condensing the expertise of five lifetimes into a single year. And that's because an author, a good author, invests at least seven years mastering their topic and crafting their book. So it's no surprise that this is a significant differentiating factor for Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, and many more. And my book tracker helps you track all of this knowledge without typing and without coding. So there's this amazing app that's available for the iPhone, the Mac, and the iPad. And that works seamlessly across all devices using an iCloud sync. It scans the ISBN number barcode and automatically fetches the book title, the author, the publisher, the cover image, the genre, the summary, and the number of pages in the book. Now you might find that the default cover image is low resolution, but you can easily change it with just a few clicks. You can add custom fields for physical location, for the book number, or you can add a personal category. And of course, the Goodreads rating and the Goodreads link so that you can go back to it very quickly. The app also has a section to track books that you've loaned out or borrowed. The app works offline, making it brilliant to use at bookstores. You can create wish lists, scan multiple barcodes, enter ISBNs manually, or search online to add books. Most bookstores can find the book easier when you give them an ISBN code. And you can export your entire library or just new books and update the information for multiple books simultaneously. And I use the export the information option with a CSV for Notion. The app is reasonably priced with just a one-time fee of $5. And now there are two hidden benefits. It's updated with every software update and you can request for new features. Now I've been speaking to the developers, Kimiko, and they're very responsive to suggestions and questions. Inside Notion, take a blank page and type slash import CSV and select the file that's named bookbuddy.csv. Notion automatically creates a database with all the fields from the bookbuddy CSV file. You can hide the additional property fields that you don't want to use. And bookbuddy has a number of additional fields. Now change the URL property to a files and media property. And that will enable you to show the book covers as thumbnails. Change the notes property to a URL property to show Goodread links. Now that's where I store my Goodread links. Add a view for book covers and summaries. Now there's a rating property that's there in BookBuddy and that's already pre-populated from the BookBuddy database. Now let's add three more properties that could help us. There's this completed flag that marks books as finished with a formula and a progress bar showing how much of the book is actually completed. Let's also add a rating formula that allows you to give a star rating for each book. For incremental imports, rename the two database properties and drag the new records into the existing database. Now your Notion database is ready for taking book notes and keeping all of that information. Now let's create a new template for taking book notes. Every time you want to take notes, you can just click on the template inside the book record. Let's give this an icon. Let's create a heading called main idea or concept. That's where you will jot all your main ideas. Let's add another one that's called personal reflections or insights by chapter. So you can add all the notes that you kept on the book within this. And now let's add 10 chapters by default. And we can add more if required when we are working on a specific book. Let's add a database of quotes, which we can refer to by page number and chapter. And let's add a section for emerging questions. 
questions that you may have to clarify to yourself from the notes in the book. You can create this as a database so that you can capture the answers inlaid within each question page. And finally, let's add a summary section for actions because without actions, the book has no meaning and you want to take those actions after reading the book or even during. So check out what's new in Notion this July right here and learn about another great productivity hack that makes you unstoppable from here.